What's going on today, people? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tunchi, and this is YBE TV. Today, I got a question from my homeboy, Slick Rick, or my homegirl, Slick Rick. Homegirl, Slick Rick. And before we get into that, you know we got to get into some of these bills. You already know. Hit me up at www.ybetv.org, and you can ask me a question. Go down to Ask Tune, and I will respond back on YouTube. Next the next sponsor is the YBE TV business course. Go to www.ybetv.org slash course and you will be able to learn how to correctly set up your business, structure your business, and actually apply for business credit without using your social security number. Go to the website, watch some videos, check it out, and get, get more familiar with it. Now also, go to www.ybetv.org slash shop. And you can shop for different things. We got the T-shirts coming out that we got out. We got the pen, ink pens. We got mouse pads. We got bumper stickers. Matter of fact, we got one right here. We actually got the bumper stickers. You can go and check us out, and you'll be able to support so we could keep on growing the channel and bringing you this great content that we always try to give. You already know what it is, and I appreciate you. So let's get into it. Slick Rick. Subject is scales. What's going on, Tom? I'm a female. See, I knew I was right there saying that. And held my CDL for three years with minimum to no experience in trucking. But I'm looking to get on the road soon. I've been doing a lot of research and etc. But things you can only learn from asking someone who knows. I know DOT way skills are very serious business. Oh my God, you don't know the half. So my question is, how do you handle a situation where you're leaving a shipper but you don't have a truck stop close? To go scale and at that route you have to take going by a scale house and rerouting is going to put you hours behind schedule or it's just impossible. I know some shippers have their own skills to weigh you before you leave, but isn't that too often that happens? Any info or advice is appreciated. Thanks, Tom. Man, you just talked about something that all truckers hate. Now, the thing is, that's going to be most likely... You're going to have a shipper that's going to have a, uh, a scale, and you use that scale, and you make sure you get your weights correct, and then you're going to have a cat scale. Most likely, it's going to be in the area. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to scale it. So you check in the area, and a lot of the times when you ask a shipper where is the scale, especially if they are uh, running you heavy, they're going to know somewhere. They're going to know somewhere. They're going to be like, well, it's a farmer scale about uh, 20 miles. If you go 20 miles east, sometimes you're going to have to go out of route, but that will save you a ticket. And then you, you just go on your GPS, you find out, let's just say it's a, a, a regular DOT scale, 20 miles in the direction you got to go. So you're trying to find something that's 20 miles before, but it's a scale that's 35 miles out. That, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that, you would have to, uh, they still will shut you down because DOT, they really don't hear that. So you would have to find something before and you or else you're going to have to route yourself around it and go ahead and get to that other scale and then keep on going. But the thing is, is let's just say if you got a scale at the shipper, do not leave that place without being scaled. Now, this is one of the things that you will hate is when you um, when you at a drop yard and it ain't no scales around and you're about to get on your way, make sure you scale that low. And, and make sure you pay attention to the bills. Get to know your truck. Get the feeling of it. Because sometimes the bills will be wrong. I had a load that said it was only 25,000 pounds. And then I get on that scale and I'm pushing up against 80. And I'm like, this load is clearly over 40,000 pounds. You know what I'm saying? But I got the little, the, uh, little wear thing in my truck that lets me know that if it's at 34,000 on, uh, on the axle, it lets me know that. So... I use that, and even if I didn't, you're going to get to know your truck, and you're going to know how your truck pull. You're going to feel the weight. You're going to be like, this is really heavy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel the heaviness of the load. So it's it's like the situation that you're talking about, <clears throat> that's very rare. It's, it's rare. It's, it don't happen a lot, but it does happen. It does happen, and it's very aggravating. Because, man, you just be ready to get your load, get up, and go. And sometimes it's not like that, and it's worth it. Do not take a load that you did not scale, especially if it's over whatever the company requires you to scale. Like if they say it's got to be uh, 
over uh, a 30,000 pounds for you to scale it. And if it doesn't scale out over under 30,000 pounds, we'll pay the ticket. Hey, nothing else to talk about. Nothing else to talk about. It's just like this. Uh, with with this company named uh, Triple Crown used to be um, Triple Crown. We used to uh, run, and they'll pay your scale tickets because it comes off the it comes off the um, the uh, the uh, 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 rails. It came off the rails. You put it on your truck and you run in it a short distance. And if you run into that, a lot of times they'll just say, "Okay." And look, this is what you do. This is exactly what you need to do. Depending on, now all companies have used Quellcoms. Matter of fact, you just gave me a great idea. All companies have used Quellcoms. Don't let me lie to you. It depends on what the company say. Okay? Now all companies got Quellcoms. Let me tell you this trick. This is a really dope trick. You're talking to your dispatcher and you run into a situation where you got to go 60 miles for the first scale, but in 33 miles, it's a DOT scale. You can't find none around that is 100 miles either way. And they don't offer one at the shipper. You call dispatch and you tell them the situation. You be like, well, listen, I don't want to take this load. It's too dangerous. And dispatch be like, well, look, I talked to my supervisor, and if you get a ticket or you overweight, we'll pay it. Get to the scale and let us know what is going on. So you be like, okay. Don't let them tell you that over the phone. Make sure you get it in right and be like, okay, well, just send it to me in an email or send it to me over the Quellcom or else you'll be like, all right. And you send a message and be like, I'm about to get ready to leave. Just want to confirm this last time that if I get a ticket, you guys are going to pay it. Yeah, we said we'll pay it. I talked to the, and you get it in writing. Listen, C-Y-A, cover your anus, cover your behind. Do not. Take the word of these dispatchers, managers. It don't matter. If it's not in writing, don't believe it and do not go off of it because they will lie and deny 100% of the way. If they tell you to run a load illegally, you be like, okay, send it to me in writing. Because if you get into an accident, they're going to be like, I don't even know who. When you even start working for me, that's what they're going to do. So I hope that's helpful and always like, as far as us, I know that there's a lot of YouTubers that's out here that try to give out good information. And we try our best to. We try our best to. But sometimes these things change. Sometimes it's just better to ask the company that you're dealing with to protect yourself and get it in writing. You already know, and that's the most that I could tell you about that situation before I start getting redundant. You already know what it is. I appreciate you for being a subscriber. And make sure you go pick up the business course at www.ybetv.org slash course. And check that out. You already know what it is. This is your boy, Tunchi. And if you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. YBE. Drug Killer to kill or a driller to drill. She just being yourself is the definition of real.